The Puget Sound region faces some really important decisions right now about how climate change and more and more people moving to our region and the roads and buildings required to support them will affect the animals and habitats that we rely on and that means so much to us. Everything in the Puget Sound ecosystem is connected. Our streets, our roads, buildings, forests, even our gardens are connected to rivers and streams. The rivers and streams in turn drain into Puget Sound. That water circulates and the chemicals in that water affect the species that live in Puget Sound, like salmon and salmon food, seagrass, orcas, and our physical, mental, and economic well-being is tightly connected to all of this. And so we need a way to understand how changes to climate and the land will affect us and our ecosystem. And this requires mathematical modeling. In fact, it requires several models. We are very lucky. These models are already individually operational. What this project will do will allow the models to talk to each other. We're going to integrate models of land use, of our Puget Sound watersheds, of the estuary and its waters, the marine food web, and social and economic well-being of humans. And using this chain of linked models, we're gonna ask questions about climate change and human actions on the landscape and how this all impacts the interconnected Puget Sound system. And most importantly, how different decisions we make will minimize the trade-offs among the things we care about the most.